the Empire. Great job, Andrew. We'll talk to you. We'd love to get you Alex to do some reporting Jones for us. The GCN Your call's Radio coming up. Network. Great job, Andrew. Check him out at Team Take on YouTube. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. You know, I think I might do like 30 minutes over throughout the day just to take phone calls. I keep saying I'm going to do it, never do it. Jesse, Chris, Brian, Chase, Jacob, and many others. First time callers, 800 259 9231. And by the way, America, this country, the whole world is now in the danger zone. Crank it up on the economy, on civil wars they're trying to brew so they can bring in control, destabilization, culturally, with medicine breaking down, with flesh-eating bacteria. Just on so many fronts, global crises are being exacerbated because the world technocrats have decided to go with crises and fan crises and build them so they can pose as the saviors and bring in total control. The Hegelian dialectic of problem, reaction, solution. So I'm going to go to your phone calls here. The guys pointed out, they said, Alex, we got like eight or nine clips of different MSNBC, CNN attacking you. Hundreds of newspapers, thousands of blogs, all of them White House affiliated or run, literally saying that I influenced the guy to kill people. Al Sharpton acting like a civil war is about to break out, but that it's a good thing. I mean, it is just insane. Let's play a few of the clips, go to your calls, and back to clips. John Bound, there's too many of them. I've got a list here. You found even more. 
uh, you uh, you found Dan Danny DeVito from the Penguin. I mean, some lady from uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center. T tell me her I, name. Heidi Branch. I mean, uh, Danny. De I, I mean, Heidi Branch from the uh, SPLC. Okay, so you found her, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, play this clip. This is MSNBC. The government needs to take this seriously. These kinds of people have killed more Americans domestically than Islamic extremists in the last several years. This is a serious threat, and the government has to be looking at these things. Well, we're going to... All right, and that's from Al Sharpton's uh, FBI program. Now, shifting gears into the same subject, uh, we never played this yet, too. There's so many clips. Can you pull up the CNN saying the same thing, that uh, now uh, the Tea Party is more threatening than Al-Qaeda? See what I'm talking about here, folks? Now, I'm on record telling you this six years before it started. This is their battle plan. It's been their battle plan all along. There's the article, Infowars.com, Kurt Nemo. CNN says liberty movement more threatening than Al-Qaeda. We're going to go ahead and play you that clip. So it's CNN. It's MSNBC. It's all of them. Let's go ahead and play the clip. But on the airwaves today, conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, of whom Jared Miller was allegedly a fan of, Alex Jones fomented even more anti-government paranoia. We are in the middle of a globalist revolution against this country right now. And my gut tells me that the cold-blooded, degenerate, evil killing of two police officers and a citizen in Las Vegas yesterday is absolutely staged, ladies and gentlemen. Joining me now is the host of MSNBC's The Reed Report, Joy Reed. Joy, All right, and, and, and again, in Kurt's article, the first clip he has is from MSNBC. There's another, the story of Jared and Amanda Miller, and that's the one where they say the same thing. We have a quote in the article. We're going to not just have a link. We're going to add that to the video, and I'm going to play that as well, uh, where CNN says liberty movement more threatening than al-Qaeda. So let's let's get the clip on that subject. we got a bunch more of the Al Sharpton we haven't played Chris Matthews demonizing me. But again, here's the quote. The attack in Vegas from CNN is, fu is far from the only incident of violence in the American far right. Peter Bergen billed as CNN's national security analyst. So see, now we have the national security analyst telling us how citizens are the threat. I mean, that's the definition of an authoritarian country. Anyone caught out after dark will be permanently detained, a.k.a. the running man. Quote, according to data collected by the New American Foundation, right-wing extremists have killed 37 people and 16 violent incidents. Oh, my gosh. Honeybees bees killed 230-something in the United States since 9-11. Did you hear that? In 12 years, 37 people, some ADL front group says. Let's read the rest of this. Let's all of Homeland Security, hundreds of billions a year for 37 dead over 12 years. So, oh my gosh, 37 people and 16 violent incidents in the United States is 9-11. Oh, 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 the number, that's about three a year. The number is more than 21 people killed by militants motivated by Al-Qaeda ideology in the United States. That's because it's made up. They run the Saudi Arabian terrorists, the criminals that run our country. They're running them in Syria, where they killed 300,000 people, mainly Christians. All right, I said I'd go to your calls. It's just... What a hoax. I don't believe anything they say. We have no idea what really happened in Vegas. I mean, it's that bad, folks. We don't know what happened at Sandy Hook. I mean, they had blue screens down there with Anderson Cooper disappearing on screen. CNN did fake Scud missile attacks in 1990. You can't believe anything they say. It's like believing Bill Clinton. And they call that a conspiracy theory because he put it in a memo ordering the media. If you question any of his lies, he calls you that name. I don't care what name you call me. Throw me in the briar patch. Let's play the Chris Matthews and then we'll go to the calls.
conspiracy theories have a presence or at least a grudging acceptance within the political mainstream because they're expedient. And what I think we have to do is stop this demonization, the, the birtherism, the conspiracy theories, Alex yeah. Jones on the radio today saying it's staged and all this kind of that stuff. This whole thing was staged, but Alex Jones, just to get this straight, yes. you're saying that he went on the radio today and said the federal government created this thing and those two people really didn't do what they did. They didn't shoot the two police officers. They didn't shoot the civilian at Walmart. They're saying, that what, what do they think? I always wonder about conspiracy theories. What do they think did happen if it didn't he, happen he as we saw it happening? He thinks it's a false flag operation like the Boston Marathon bombing. And, and what I think is important here is there are conservative people of goodwill and, and wonderful folks on that side of the fence. But what we have to have is some kind of agreement about process and demonization and, and resolving conflicts. And more broadly, let me just That's say enough. to the left as well. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. The, 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 but just everybody, let's be nice. This is not an assault. Lay down, GI, lay down. Tokyo Rose loves you. She'll kiss you and put you to bed at night. Let's go to your phone calls. Let's go ahead. I appreciate Jess calling and holding for 30 minutes. Jess in Texas, you're first up. What do you think about all this? I mean, should we just believe known certified liars who tell us they lie to us and who staged other stuff? I mean, is it wrong that I question known certified liars? Uh, I don't think it's wrong. And first off, I just want to say I've been watching you since Austin Access days. I don't know how long that's been now, but... Um, and I own guns, and I've never gone out and shot anybody, and I'm not planning Well, you owning guns anybody. made the crime rate go down 52%. The, the FBI admits that's the main reason. I mean, the, I mean, the crime rate went down 52% with guns because there's more guns. I mean, it's a fact. So just go ahead. You're a bad person. Yeah, and so I'm, yeah, I'm bad for owning guns, one. And I just, I was reading a bunch of articles last night, and it just seems like everything's just escalating, and there's... Oh, yeah. Uh, this quickening going on, and it, it seems like something really big is coming. I don't know what it is, but it's not caused by the people or Alex Jones. I don't think you have that much power over people. I mean, you reach a lot of people, but you're not brainwashing and controlling people. Well, I wish I had more power. I say probably every day neurotically to the point a family says, quit saying it. It sounds crazy. When I say, don't shoot police. Well, I mean, they're always saying, I'm making people shoot police. So I'm saying, don't shoot police. And then they say, I'm saying, shoot police. So I'm saying, don't shoot police. 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 But they're saying, I'm making people shoot police. So what am I supposed to do? I obviously don't have power over these people. I think you know, the average police should be glad I'm here trying to stop a civil war. I mean, do you understand they want to start a civil war? Do people realize that it'll be like nuclear bombs going off in this country politically and economically and physically if a civil war starts? The civil war in this country killed over 300,000 people in four years in the 1860s. Do you know what a civil war they've billed Obama as this Lincoln savior and they plan to have him with the domestic security force start a civil war? They've admitted that was their plan the whole time. Do you realize they want to have civil war part two? How many people do you think are going to die in that, brother? Maybe millions, I mean, at least, if not more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, 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 and let me tell you, they're, they're telling cops in official memos that are in Forbes, not, not Infowars.com, that there's going to be a civil war. And the enemy is the veterans. They're telling cops, pick a fight with the veterans. That's like, go and stick your, you know what, in a beehive, uh, to, uh, you know, quote somebody from Anonymous. I forget exactly who said that. But... I mean, this this is not a good idea. It's like a, it's like, I don't want to say it. I'll come up with the weirdest stuff now that I talk about that. I mean, it would be like putting a funnel in your mouth up against a beehive and having them fly down your lungs. I mean, it'd be like sticking your hand in a meat grinder in a garbage disposal. I mean, I, I've got a family. I've got children. I want stability. I want to fix things peacefully. They want to start a civil war. Anything else? I mean, I just cannot tell people enough. We've got to stop it. We've got to stop it. We've got to stop it. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, oh. I, just, I just think it's just insane uh, how many different articles are, I mean, they're saying that, oh, Alex Jones liked this guy's Facebook page, and Rand Paul liked his Facebook page, and all these people, they're just trying to lump together, and none of it's confirmed, and I mean, there's just all the trolls all over the internet, 
just with them. And people don't know any better, and they read these comments on either Facebook or a news site, and they take it as fact. 